Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to include a simple table of contents inside of your Microsoft Word document. And you can see here we've got a very simple document, it's five pages long, and I have a few headings in this document. I've already gone ahead and applied the heading one style to these headings. And you'll see there's another heading right there and again it's been formatted with heading one. And there's a third heading and finally on the last page there's a conclusion heading. So I need to create a table of contents that has four entries inside of it. And again this is a very small document, only five pages long, but uh, this same process would be followed if you had a very long document or if you had multiple um, heading styles and heading levels in your table of contents. And we'll see how to do that later. But for a simple table of contents, all you need to do is format each one of the headings you want to be included in the table of contents with the heading one style. So I'm going to go ahead and go back up to the top of my document, and this is where I want my table of contents to appear. Now, the natural place to, for people to look when they want to insert a table of contents is the Insert tab right here. But you won't actually find Insert Table of Contents here. It's actually on the References tab. So when I come to the References tab, you're going to see over to the far left here, I have my Table of Contents section. And I'm going to go ahead and click the drop down for Table of Contents and just select the first style right here. Go ahead and do that. And there is my Table of Contents with my four headings inside of it. Couldn't be simpler to do. You can go in and format this Table of Contents in any way you want. You can also add text to it. For example, I'm going to go ahead and click to the left of the word Contents here. And I'm going to go ahead and type Table of. I could highlight that and I could use any of the normal formatting commands that are inside of Microsoft Word to change this. For example, I can go to the Home tab and I could go ahead and change the font color here to black. I could change the font style back to Arial. Maybe take off the bold. And actually I need to put a B in there. There we go, Table of Contents. I could go into the formatting dialog boxes for either one of these by simply clicking the icon in the lower right hand corner. In my case I'm going to go ahead and click on the one for paragraph because I want some spacing after this. So I'm going to go ahead and add 12 points of spacing after my table of contents header. And I'll go ahead and click OK and you can see that spacing was added. So I've got a nice table of contents set up now. Now if your document changes, you're going to need to refresh your table of contents. For example, let's say I went ahead and I added a heading to this document and I needed to include it in the table of contents. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and I'm going to go ahead and click right here and I'm going to add another heading in the document. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight that text and apply the heading one style to it. So now when I go ahead and go back up to the top of my document, I can refresh this table of contents to include the new heading or the new material. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to come right here. I've clicked in my table of contents and you'll see it says update table here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to ask me, do I want to refresh the page numbers only, or do I want to completely rebuild the table? If all you've done is added some content to the document and you don't have any new headings, page numbers only will be fine. In our case, the page numbering changed slightly, and we also added an extra heading. So I want to go ahead and update the entire table. And I'll go ahead and click OK, and you're going to see that another heading in the document has been added. And actually I had that in there a couple times, but now we have five items in there. You're also going to notice that the formatting changes that you added to your table of contents, specifically to this piece of text, have been retained. And this is a major improvement over earlier versions of Microsoft Word, where if you updated your entire table, you had to go in and completely reformat it again. Now, 
Word can again accommodate very long documents with multiple heading levels to create a more complex table of contents. And we'll see in another video how you go ahead and handle that.